Can hear us? All right, the rugged man. They can hear us? They can hear us? Yeah, they can hear us. Real quick, you remember the CMJ convention I did with, with the whole riot that we started? Yeah. You know, the whole, you know, we fucked up everything. And, and it was the dude on stage put his ass, he pulled his ass out and put on the kid's face and all that uh, shit. Remember that? I always talk about it. Not at Wetlands. No, no, this was in the early 90s. And Damn. he just texted me, Jeff Spratt. He said, yo, he's listening to it in his truck. He said, give him a shout. So he's the Sizzler robber. He robbed the Sizzler, all of that. I always talk about him. So he's, he's a good dude. Yeah, I remember that dude. And, and yeah. we lived in a house together. He used to molest any woman that came in the house. It was it was scary. <laughs> what up, Spratt? <laughs> there it is. His favorite yeah, rapper is uh, Willie D. He love Willie, Willie D, D boy. Shit. Willie D knock you Willie out. Willie D's the shit. Yeah, yeah. Who'd Willie D knock out? Didn't he, Melly didn't Mel. he do celebrity boxing and fucking? All right, Melly Mel. Oh, he did? Yeah. We, got, we got Floyd Mayweather on the phone. Floyd. Is Floyd himself? Yeah. Good. I don't know. What's up, baby? The one and only. What's up? Talk to me, my man. What's up, Floyd? Hey. Hey, you know nothing much, laying back in Vegas, riding in a car, on my way to my lawyer office. Talk a little bit. What's going on? So, Floyd, when you going to fight somebody your own size in the top two? I mean, it's, it's, that's not up to me. That's up to me. Yeah, yes, it is. If you want to be great, don't you got to fight the best? Listen, boxing doesn't work like that. <laughs> it did when Sugar Ray Robinson was fighting. Well, well guess what? Boxing has changed in business. Uh, only because of you. I think the world wants to see you fight the best fighters on the planet. Right, listen, listen. I, At listen, your own size. I, I wanna, listen, I want to fight Miguel Cotto. But guess what? Miguel, Miguel Cotto is with Bob M. Bob M doesn't want to do business with Floyd Mayweather. That's just for start. This is a guy who I used to. This is this is a promoter that I used to be with. So for starters, you got to learn a business. Pacquiao has a, his promoter is Bob M. So Bob M is putting Miguel Cotto and Pacquiao together to keep money within their circle. If you understand so, the so, so what's been going on in the last seven eyes in the top? Two? Okay, uh, well, Bar Bardemir was the undisputed welterweight champion. What are you talking about? Uh, come on, man. Bardemir with 11 losses. and. Oh, no, you just said it wasn't about losses. Now, now it's about losses. Which one? Is it about losses or is it not about losses? Okay, Which one? how about this? Why didn't you fight Margarita when you were offered $8 million to fight him? I, why would I fight Margarita for $8 million when I got $12 million and I was fighting for the title? Who, was you, who were you fighting? Who were you fighting for $12 million? Uh, that's, that, that's what I fought. Who, who did you really <laughs> fight for $12 million? I don't believe that. That's a lie. They, they asked me to fight Margarita. <laughs> But then they brought Bartimir to the table. Once again, they, Bob Aram said he'd give me $8 million. They brought Bartimir to the table and offered me $12 million. So what are you talking about? You, you didn't get $12 million to say. You fought Sean Bay Mitchell for four and a half. No, no, I did not fight Sean Bay Mitchell. I fought Sean Bay Mitchell back in the day. And I didn't get four and a half. I got $8 million to fight Sean Bay Mitchell. Uh, so what are you talking about? So why don't you want to fight? Why wouldn't... So what are you talking? I'm not ducking the dodge to nobody. Yes, you, you are. Hear, you, don't, you, you don't hear me, Yo Cotto calling me out. You don't hear you don't hear Pacquiao calling me out. Oh, they'd all love the fight. Sugar Shane calling you out. Paul Williams would, would spank yeah, your ass, Sugar Floyd. Shane, he get Paul you. Williams would spank your ass. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You, you guess what? It's play and play on my downfall. Just I'm not playing, no, brother. Let me tell you, Floyd. <laughs> I'm a, I, I was a big fan of yours. But, Floyd, I was a big... Big flip fan of yours, Floyd. I never wanted to see a downfall. When yeah, you yeah, fought yeah, Corrales, I was, off, I was off two years. There's no difference. From a, listen, I was off two years. Y'all were just saying it's not it's not byway class. Now it's byway class. Now y'all contradicting yourself. Yeah, where was Make the contradiction, brother? Where was the contradiction? Because you just said that um, you just said that um, huh? uh, fight somebody in your weight class. Why are you fighting guys out of weight class? Then you said, oh, this guy jumped from this weight this weight what? class. What? This guy jumped from that weight class. You sound this confused, way. Floyd. But what, the one thing you're not talking about, Floyd Mayweather came from a small Okay, okay, yeah, how about this, though? If, if, if Marquez has to go up to fight you, how come you won't go up to fight Paul Williams? Or let Paul Williams, he'd gladly go down to 147 to fight you. Paul Williams, right now, if you call up, Paul Williams will gladly go down to 147 and fight you. All roads lead to Floyd Mayweather. I ain't got to listen. I, I've been off two years, and I come back. I ain't got to chase nobody. You see what you see what Mark has done to Pacquiao. I ain't got to. He that. did it at he did it at three weight classes smaller. He did it at smaller oh, weight classes. Man, now, now, now we now we here go weight classes again. Hey, hey, look, Floyd, Floyd, you have so much natural talent and ability. You have oh, so man. much natural talent you and ability. You, know you can be one of the I'm greats, so, but you have to I'm, prove I'm, it. I'm so I'm so. What six-time world champion, five different weight classes in ten years? Who else done it like that? You tell me. Hey, hey let me tell you. Let me you tell, tell you. Me. Let me tell you. Archie Moore had a hundred. You have thirty-five <laughs> fights. Archie Moore has one hundred and thirty-five KOs. Guess what? I ain't gotta do. All. I ain't gotta go through all that. Well, so you what? You saying you did so much that other people ain't did? It takes six months to build a pay-per-view fight. That's what you don't understand. Fuck the building the fight, man. Getting, fight the I'm best. I'm not getting in your lane. Listen, I'm not getting in your lane trying to control the radio. 
don't get in my lane trying to control boxing because this is something that I control. That's why you don't I'm control boxing. You just one fighter. You don't control. If you leave, the, the sport still lives on, brother. If, if I leave, the sport is dead. No, that's wrong. Uh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's silly. That's silly now. Your ego's too big, brother. Once, once again, pay view numbers don't lie. Yeah, you got, don't yeah Oscar De La Hoya was your biggest fight because Oscar De La Hoya was in the fight. Pay-per-view numbers don't lie. Guess, yeah. Guess what? I, every Oscar De La Hoya fight Pay-per-view. makes money. So when you fought Pay-per-view him, it made money. <laughs> pay per view numbers don't lie. Yeah. Okay, uh-uh. what does that mean? You, you can repeat okay, yourself no, 50 no, no, times. No, no. It still don't mean I nothing was, more special. De La Hoya was my biggest fight. I was De La Hoya's biggest fight. So what are you saying? So what are you trying to say? Black fighters can't do numbers now? Oh, hey, Hop- Shake, Hopkins Shake is a greater time. champion than you, and he's black. All out, shut. Hopkins, Hopkins is the greatest fucking champion of this time because he fights every motherfucking body and you don't. Hopkins is a champion with a heart. Philadelphia. It's, 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 in, your, it's in your blood. I love Hopkins because that motherfucker will fight anybody. He don't give a fuck about the politics. He'll fight everybody. Guess what? Floyd Mayweather is a smart business. Floyd, I used to love your skills, your talent, but I want to see you fight the best. If you do that, you, you should shut me the fuck up. And fight Sugar Shane. You should fight Sugar Shane. Sugar Shane's big ass. You just one person. I ain't gotta shut you up. You just one person. Well, well, your I, legacy I, is gonna be doomed. Like, like guess what? Hey, guess what? I, I gotta be doing something like this. Guess what? Guess what? You on the radio talking about me nationwide? I'm not worried about you. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. That's cool. That's cool. But I'm also talking about know. Corrales. I'm also talking about Paul Williams. I'm, t- you know, I still talk about other Corrales, fighters. Corrales, You're not the only Corrales, one. Corrales, somebody, Corrales, somebody I'll beat. I mean, keep, keep on. Whatever. Yo, it's, you it's, look it's, like Delahoy. magic, Delahoy. Floyd. When you fought Corrales, and when I when I beat De La Hoya, they said. Oh, oh, come on, De La Hoya. De La Hoya, come on, man. Look what Pacquiao did to him. Pacquiao whooped his ass way better than you did. And Pacquiao whooped Patton's ass way better than you did. <laughs> but check it out. When you, when you fought Corrales, the undefeated don't mean shit. Mar- Marciano's undefeated. Is he better than Ali? Is he better than Larry Holmes? <laughs> undefeated don't mean shit. Don't tell me nothing about the, the Marciano. Is Ricardo Lopez the greatest fighter of all time? He was undefeated. He was, he was one of the best. Yes, he was one of the best. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, he so... He was one of the best. How about, how about uh, uh, that, that fat Danish guy, uh, Brian Nielsen, when he was 49-0? and 0? Was he the best on the planet at that particular moment? I don't know who he is. <laughs> exactly. He was 49-0. and 0. Better record than yours. Who did he, he fight, six, though? He went six-time world champion and fought him. Yo, belts. There's four belts in every weight division. That's why you're six if times. You if you was fighting in the Tommy Hearns division... You wouldn't have six belts. You have one or two. The WBC is official, bro. Brother, you ain't no more special than Aaron Pryor. You ain't no more special than mm, Parnell Whitaker. Mm. You ain't no more special. You got to prove right, that you're the greatest ever to your call blood. yourself it's that. In your it's in your blood. Brother, your blood. If you, <laughs> when you fought Corrales, you looked like magic. You was one of the greatest mother... I couldn't believe how incredible you look. Don't, don't, don't poke your dick. No wine my dick and then tell me I'm garbage. <laughs> I'm poking... Yo, I'm poking your dick from, dick, t- from 2000. Dick, that fight was nine years ago, motherfucker. What have you done since? Wow. Who's that? Who's the last pound for pound cat that you fought since Corrales? Set back. Oh, that, was that was that was your own size. I just beat the number two bro. At your own size? <laughs> I come from a small weight No, 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 no. He had to gain 17 pounds to fight you. Don't even play like that meant something. Shape 45. That fight was a fucking propaganda stunt to make you look down. good. All out show. Tell me. Oh, uh, come on, man. And so, so I guess, I guess since I ain't taking no punishment, I ain't, I ain't a great champion. No, right? you, you don't have to take punishment. Willie Pep didn't take the punishment, but he fought everybody. Yes, because because I'm so icy because Cotto didn't beat his ass. I mean, because uh, Pacquiao didn't beat his ass like me. I guess I guess I ain't good, huh? Yeah, three, 17 pounds heavier, the fat old man. <laughs> man, yo, Marquez was a fat old man, 36 with 17 extra pounds. How the hell was his punches supposed to hurt you at 147? Okay, okay, okay. He, he, he 36, I'm 32. We both in our 30s. There's no difference from a fight. But he had to gain, he had to gain weight, and he was slow, sluggish, and his punches can't hurt you at 147. So it's not by weight. Skills pays the bills. Uh, okay. So why don't you, so, okay, so. You're a good basketball player. You're a good basketball player. You should go no, fight Chad Chad Dawson. If if weight don't mean something, go fight Chad Chad De- Dawson. What about Sugar Chad Shane Mosley? It looked like or Chad Dawson. What about Chad Sugar Shane Mosley? I don't think it away from him. Why won't you fight Sugar Shane? Why are you scared of him? I'm not scared of nobody. You scared of Sugar Shane, brother? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> after, after you saw what he did to Margarito, you was like, I'm gonna chill on Shane. <laughs> Let me fight hey, a small hey, guy. Hey, 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 what, what you do your homework? What you do your homework? I, I, I got my homework done. I, I, I know more about the history than you, Floyd. You know about fighting. I, I, I tried to fight Shane in 1999. Did you check that out? From 99. Oh, oh, what? After he lost to Vernon Forrest twice and looked like 90, shit. <laughs> you, you, you was trying to fight him when he was on a losing streak when he looked like no, shit. No, I did not. No, Floyd's, I did not. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd 
Floyd rejuvenated his career. Uh, Shane hey, rejuvenated his career since Floyd then. Floyd Mayweather tried to fight Shane Mosley. When he was on a losing streak. From, from 1990, he did not lose in 99. From 99 all the way to when he was a lightweight, when I was a junior lightweight. From 99 all the way to 2006, and yeah. he turned me down. All of a sudden, his career is over. His career ain't over. He just whooped Margarito's ass who you were afraid of. How's his career over? He, he whooped Margarito's ass, and you scared of Margarito. So how's his career over? Can I ask you a question? Yes.